Hey guys, how are you today? Alright, so we are going to do another sketch in the Messy Sketch Journal. And um, we're going to just do it in real time. First I want to tell you about our inspiration photo. So my husband has a friend who he works with that is a photographer besides doing what they do for a living in technology. He's a professional photographer and every year my husband gets calendars from him of his photography for his desk at work. And I've been bugging him for a while, can you please save them and bring them home? And so he finally did. <laughs> He's been saving them up for a long time. And I said, by the way, can you also ask Brent, that's his name, Brent Frazier, um, can you ask him if it's okay for me to use them on YouTube and to um, do inspiration paintings and artwork from them? And he did, and Brent, of course, said yes. So here we are, and these are some of his calendars. Now, if you're inspired by any of these photos and you'd like copies of some of these works, or maybe you'd like the 2016 calendar, which I haven't seen. I only have, let's see, I have 13, 14, 15, and I think the one we're going to work from is 2012, maybe? I haven't seen 2016. I don't know what 2016 looks like. Let's see. Yeah, this is 2012, so I don't have 2016. If these are anything to go by, 2016 is beautiful. Um, but you can find them at brentfraserphotography.com. So go there. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description below. And these are just filled with beautiful images that we will be co we will be doing some of these in a wa in upcoming watercolor Wednesday episodes. I've got to tell you. So if you follow my watercolor Wednesdays. Uh, live on Periscope, um, and I have to edit one from yesterday to, po to post to YouTube right now, but um, we'll be doing some of these um, in upcoming episodes, maybe starting as soon as next week. Um, there are just some, gore I mean, can you not see that as a painting? Like, honestly, there are some, just some beautiful pieces of work in here. So I went through the stack of calendars, and I found this really pretty picture of some dogwood flowers that he took in Yosemite National Park here in California. And I thought some of these flowers would make a really interesting drawing or little sketch in our book. So I thought, why don't we do that? So I'm actually going to turn it this way because I think that we're going to... I, I was think, I've been thinking about this and I think we're going to just do our drawings on one side of each page in case our pen does bleed through. Um, but I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, there's no guarantees. I could change my mind later on, but I think for right now. So this is just a moleskin cahier, and I've gone through and quite a few pages, and I've stained them with some watered-down acrylic inks just so that the background page is not clean and crisp and clear. Let me turn off the speakers on my devices, and I'll be right back. Okay. So let's um, sketch our dogwood blooms. Now, I've got a lot of different kind of drawing pens, and as I said in the first episode, my new favorite one is this... Um, Sharpie marker pen and this is a Sharpie stainless steel marker pen which is refillable so um, you can get refills for these and the body just unscrews and the refill consists of more ink and a new tip and then you just screw it back in and you're good to go and because it's Sharpie it's waterproof so if you use it with um, uh, watercolor paints or acrylic paints it's not going to smear in this case we're just going to sketch with it but you could do other things with it so I'm going to try to do this where you can see it. All right. So I want to draw this flower and maybe this one and the stem. I don't, I don't intend on doing the whole thing. We'll see how far I get. But I'm going to just, you know, I'm always telling you guys, just draw the shapes. And this is called, you know, messy sketch because, you know, there's, we're not looking at for perfect lines. Um, it's a sketch. So... I'm just, I'm looking at this petal right here. Now I'll have to guess on some of the shapes of these leaves because um, it's taken up against a dark background. And so um, some of the edges on some of the outer leaves are not in the photo. So I'll have to guess at their shape. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're inspired by his photography. That doesn't mean we're gonna try to copy it exactly. We're just gonna be inspired by it. We're gonna create a pretty piece of artwork based on his photography. You know, 
I don't do lots of realism because you really can't... I get frustrated because it doesn't look exactly like nature. And I would rather, if I really love an image, would rather have that natural, the, the photograph. So I have the natural, that image. The real image. It looks like there is a shadow of a leaf or something over here. So just loose, sketchy lines. Yep. So let's put this other flower over here. Just loose and sketchy. You notice I, I'm not drawing solid lines. I'm lots of light, loose, sketchy lines. And try this on things like flowers and fruit before you try to do a face. So I'm just following the image in the photograph around. Trying to sketch the shapes of the petals that I see. I'm not worried about if I put a line in the wrong place because that just adds texture and interest to my sketch. Don't treat it as anything too precious, just have fun with the process. I'm going to add extra lines in areas where I see in the photo there's some shadows. There are these lines or prominent veins in the flower petals, so I am going to make sure to add some of them. Looks like there's a, a leaf hanging down. It looks like there might be two of them, but I, I the other one's really in shadow. But I do want to draw one of them.
It does look like there's another one like right here though. I can't really see all of it, so I'm gonna guess. All right, I'm gonna put the What line? Some a few lines for some of the leaves that I can see. I can't really see all of them, so. Okay, so now we're going to come in with a fatter pen, and let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this one. So this is a um, Tombow um, pen. This is from Jet Pens, and it is. It just says W S dash B S. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a calligraphy pen. But it just says WS BS, but it's by Tombow, it says. And it's got sort of this hard plastic brush tip. So I'm going to use this wider pen to emphasize some of the more important lines in our drawing and make certain things stand out from the sketchy lines and basically make it look more, um, re the shape look more refined. but I'm going to refrain from doing lots of solid lines. I'm going to keep the darker lines loose and sketchy, just like the thinner ones. I like to have different sizes of pens hanging around so that I, you know, I'm doing my sketch with black ink. I'm just doing it with all different um, shades of, of black ink. I have a fatter pen here somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, that's one of them. So this is even, this is a traditional brush tip pen, more of a traditional brush tip anyway. And see, none of that bled through. So I do test my pens, this piece of paper I was testing things on. Okay, I like that a lot. I'm going to come in with my, like I did last time, these are the um, AccuGel highlighters, the Bible. Yeah, AccuGel highlighters, the Bible high gliders. And this is a green one. Do I want to add another color? Maybe a little bit of the yellow. Yep, I like that. Okay, I want to take our Sharpie pen and I want to write Dogwood Blossoms. 
on here. I really liked, and it was a last minute thought to put oranges and the date on here. And I really, but I really liked the way that looks. So I want to do that to this one. The question is, where do I want to do it? <laughs> oh, that's always the question, isn't it? Um, I think I want to put it here. And I'm going to go over it twice. And I'm going to um, date it. Let's see, today's the 21st. There we go. I really like that. I love the way that turned out. Just a messy, quick sketch. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just the most important thing is to have fun with it, but also to practice your drawing. And anyway, yeah, I look forward to doing more in this little book. This has become one of my uh, most favorite things, I think, to do. So there you have it. Dogwood Blossoms. Go ahead and look up Brent Frazier, uh, uh, his uh, photography website, Brent Frazier Photography. And uh, this, is his, this was out of the 2012 calendar. All of his photographs are absolutely amazing. And I'm sure you can get loads of inspiration and ask him how much they are. Maybe you can get the 2016 one. All right, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.